I've been planning on making this video for ages now and I can't think of a better time to share my tips and tricks on working from home since we're all social distancing and it looks like most of us will be working from home for the foreseeable future and I just wanted to share a few tips I've learned over the years working from home as a freelancer. So what you will soon find out if you haven't already is that the hardest part about working from home is the distractions. We've all been there before, we, even with the best intentions to stay on task, how many times have you picked up your phone to check that notification and looked at WhatsApp if you've been sucked in and you've just spent all of that time and you've just lost time. Distractions can be impossible to avoid, but let's talk about some tips that will help you to stay on track. So first of all, you want to stick with your morning routine. A good morning routine will help set up your entire day for success. Drink water. Think about it. We sleep for about six to eight hours. That's like a quarter of the day gone without any form of hydration. Drinking a glass of water after a night of sleep not only helps with rehydration and fueling your brain, but it can also help produce glowing skin by flushing out toxins and aids weight loss by boosting your metabolism. As someone who has a love-hate relationship with exercise, I've learned to love the benefits. Before work, I try to squeeze in some form of physical activity. I'm not a professional athlete at all, and I don't really like exercise but my body seems to notice that it doesn't like it when I don't exercise and I get a spare tire around my stomach. So my weekday fitness schedule goes something like this. Monday, Wednesday and Friday I go for a walk and I usually do about 35 to 45 minutes walking in the park and then on Tuesday and Thursday I usually go to the gym. But with all of these social distances, I've been working from home. My favourite home workouts include both Mad Fit and Fitness Blender on YouTube. It's incredibly tempting to work from your pyjamas all day, but you need to get dressed. I found out the hard way that it's the quick route for an unproductive day. So just get dressed. Make sure to create a designated workspace. Somewhere where it's just separate from your bed and where you can get some things done. So try starting with a to-do list. Writing out a to-do list every morning will make the day look less daunting, more manageable and will help you to stay focused on each task. I block out a general structure of my day on Google Calendar and then I use task sections to write down what tasks I have to do. I start out with big tasks such as social media and then I do little subtasks such as start the new order or work on client images, edit photos, etc. This is something I've been doing to stop myself from getting overwhelmed by everything I have to do, something I've struggled with quite a bit in the past. Take breaks. Audiobooks are great to listen to on walks, while having lunch, while doing the dishes. They're also great for avid bookworms who don't want to pull themselves away from an amazing story but they don't have time to be buried in a book. There are several ways to enjoy audiobooks but Audible is my favourite. It's an easy to use app and it offers about one to two credits with monthly memberships. You can redeem your monthly credit with the audiobook of your choice. And what's especially great about Audible is that you can use them for free for 30 days and they also let you return any audiobook you're not happy with, no questions asked. If you wanna try Audible, click the link in the description and you can get a 30 day free trial. Make sure you have a proper lunch, even if you're working from home. No sis, a bowl of cereal isn't a real lunch, neither is a coffee and a donut. I'm guilty of it too, I'm a slave to chocolate some days. But food gives us energy, so it makes sense to use food as a fuel to energise us. However, some foods can do quite the opposite. Foods that are heavy in sugar and carbs can make you feel sluggish and fatigued by the end of the day. Consequently, Eating rubbish lunch can have the same effect while leading to you to overeat. The best way to approach lunch is to have a light, healthy lunch that will sustain you while working. Try a quinoa salad and some fruit or some whole wheat toast and some protein. Watch how your body thanks you by giving you the energy and shrinking your waistline. I also love eating healthy snacks while working. That's why I subscribe to Grey's. 
For those of you who have never heard of Grey's, it's a personalised weekly subscription box filled with healthy and wholesome snacks delivered right to your door. And after creating an account, you're able to set your taste and dietary preferences that help the taste experts to handpick the right snacks for you and your loved ones. I've been loving my Grey's box because I haven't been able to get to the stores and buy my favourite snacks. Whenever I visit the stores, the shelves look half empty and I can't find anything. Tell me if your store looks like this right now. It looks like an apocalypse. So if you have the same problem and you live in the UK, you should try out the Grey's box. I have a discount code that allows you to get your first, fifth and tenth box for free. So the link will be in the description. And last but not least, set a strict schedule. I saved this one for last because it, I think it's the most important. When you work from home, it's important to set a schedule and stick to it. Having clear guidelines for when to work and when to call it a day helps me maintain a work-life balance. Plan it out tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will be putting up more videos for you to enjoy in the future. Thank you, bye!